Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the trading session the 17th of August, Friday, the uh, 2018. Uh, we are now looking into uh, European markets as usual, okay? Uh, European markets certainly coming into a swoon, given the fact that Asian markets certainly lower overnight. They failed to buy the, uh, the rally in uh, America, uh, given the fact that there's uh, alluding to potential um, uh, conciliatory talks between America and uh, the uh, Chinese. Uh, certainly doesn't seem to be uh, uh, having any positive effect in Asia. Uh, again, emerging markets certainly maintain that concern there, global growth concerns as well. Uh, and we'll see whether or not US markets can certainly alleviate those concerns and continue their potential move higher. Okay, now in terms of the uh, the fundamentals, uh, data points uh, out this morning, nothing really major other than the fact that European, obviously, current account comes in stronger. Uh, CPI data comes in more or less in line for Europe, okay. Uh, and that really is has been the main focus point this morning. The rest of the day, there's nothing really from the US either. Okay, uh, focus really remains on geopolitics and the social economic concerns that we have as well. We've got ongoing Brexit concerns, concerns in Italy, and obviously the situation with regards to China, America, and Turkey as well. The Turkish contagion situation or story still certainly remain, remains remains as well. So the market certainly short squeeze yesterday. We're building a base on the FTSE 100 first of all. If I uh, go into that before i do just make sure you do uh, download the uh, the latest app from trade signal signal to market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com download the app on the google play and the apple app store okay so let's bring up the FTSE 100 first of all in the daily chart you clearly see here that we've made a base on the daily as you can see here we've uh, certainly uh, held at 200 ma on the daily the market certainly is bouncing ever since now yesterday's bullish engulfing candle certainly uh, secured the base there today's Rejection of the FTSE at 7,577. Uh, the market certainly did reverse quite sharply there. Okay, now in terms of the 60-minute chart on the FTSE, you can see that we've reversed that previous support equals resistance. That zone certainly is acting as key resistance. Now, can we break through that? That's the question, okay? Now, we do have a downward sloping diagonal trend line, so let's bear that in mind, as you can see here. Okay, looks like we did initially break it, and we're potentially retesting it now. So let's just keep an eye on that. 50% of a retracement as well, 7,570. So we'll keep an eye on that. 10 minute chart, we've gone back and retested that key support around the uh, 7540 zone, pivot low of 7535. You do have the unfilled gap below at 7500 though, so just bear that in mind if the market obviously continues to slide, so keep an eye there. In terms of the European indices, uh, the German DAX, again, uh, daily chart first and foremost, you've hit a potential double bottom. There is that unfilled gap that's still lingering, 11960, if obviously situation certainly deteriorates, keep an eye on that. 60 minute chart at uh, present again horizontal key support defended at 12.130 and again looking for potential uh, bounce higher now given the fact that u.s equities certainly uh, short squeezed quite prolifically yesterday it looks like european indices haven't caught up as of yet okay so the support at uh, so 12.185 certainly is holding thus far okay and let's see if that continues to hold and you do have that gap fill at 12.160 and support down below at 12.130 so bear that in mind in terms of the French CAC, last but not least, okay, so again, certainly has reversed this morning. 60-minute chart as well. Uh, let's have a look here. You still have that unfilled gap below, so watch out there. Certainly clean this up for you, so you've got unfilled gap at 5276, then support is seen at 5245. Okay, again, the sell-off in commodities certainly hurting the French CAC. Now, you do have quite a lot of unfilled gaps above as well, so just watch out for those gaps. Okay, in terms of the marketplace. And these are your key resistance zones if the market does short squeeze higher. So given the fact that yesterday the U.S. equities uh, certainly shrugged off concerns and, and there is a potential prospect of Chinese trade talks resuming, that certainly is acting as a catalyst for a short squeeze so far. Uh, in terms of the French CAC, let's just clean this chart up for you as well. Okay, so we've got gap fill below, horizontal support here. So again, looking for resistance as well, pivot days high. So uh, let's see how that trades. Yeah, you've got a previous support equal resistance here. So support here at 5320 zone, gap fill at 5305, and then you've got double bottom support around the 5290. So that's basically where we're trading. Okay, I think that's a good summation really of European markets. Be sure to visit to cfds.com, take advantage of that bonus, and be sure to download the latest trade signal app. Goodbye now.